Hi. Welcome back to my channel. The channel where I don't post very often, but it's enough to make you still watch them. So, hi. I asked you guys on Instagram what you guys wanted to see next, and a lot of you said you wanted to see July's favorites. I have not made a favorites video in so, so, so long. I think it's almost been a year, if not longer. Um, so I decided to get a huge pile of things that have been my favorites, not even just this month, but, but something that I've been really loving for the past couple months. I have found so many cool and unique things that even like you guys have been suggesting for me to try or listen to or buy, and so I wanted to make a huge pile of things and suggest them to you. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So for the first topic, I've been reading a lot of books. I've been trying to read way more books than just sitting around watching TV. Not that there's anything wrong with watching TV, but I spend a lot of time watching television and a lot of it, if not YouTube and all of that. So recently I've been trying to read as much as I possibly can. Um, I got into this series called Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kion. And let me tell you, it has literally changed my perspective on art and life so much, um, and myself. I have literally highlighted 90% of the book. I found so much good and useful information, not even for artists, not even for creative people, but for humans. It, it helps if you're into painting or music or writing. There's so much useful information that I, I cannot tell you how many times I've gone over and read this book and gone through. It's just, it's a really good. And then I found out that he wrote another book, which I have yet to start, but I'm so, so excited. I've literally just been staring at it because I, I want to start it, but I don't want to end it. So I've been like putting it off for a rainy day. Um, this one's called Show Your Work. 10 ways to share your creativity and get discovered. Um, this one might be more so for artists, but even if you're not, I would still highly recommend this series. He's also basically the founder of Blackout Poetry. So he's a really cool dude. Uh, also another huge book that I've been reading is Andy Warhol, The Philosophy of Andy Warhol, From A to B and Back Again. Um, this is basically written by him. Um, he is an amazing human being. I talk about him a lot. He is an artist. He started pop art and I've also highlighted a lot of information about him and things that he said. He's just so knowledgeable. He's just such a... I just... <sighs> Once again, this is a really good book for artists um, of any kind, but I also just recommend if you want to find some knowledge in a good book. Another book that I've been really reading is The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. The Japanese Art of Decluttering and Organization. I have an obsession over minimalism. I would recommend this book for anybody at all, especially people that have a messy home or think that their mind is always too cluttered. Um, this isn't even just about your your actual house. It's about your brain and um, the way that you are wired and it, there's so much good information about this. So as you can see, I've been really enjoying a lot of self-help books. Um, I just find so much like comfort and like I love highlighting so I like buying the actual book and not just getting them from the library. I think that's a really like good thing. I, I've stopped spending a lot of money on things that I don't necessarily need as much and I've started investing in things like this that make me actually think and become a better person. So the first thing that I have is a dress that was sent to me by this lovely company called JJ's House. No, this video isn't sponsored, but I did say that I'd talk about them because they are such a good and high quality website, um, specifically for wedding dresses, special occasion dresses, accessory shoes, um, prom dresses, cocktail dresses, literally all of these really, really cool and amazing and beautiful and affordable dresses. Um, some of the prom dresses on there are such nice quality. Um, I can say because when I was sent my dress, I was like, holy cow, is this amazing. They are not ripping you off whatsoever and they're very affordable. I know that there's a lot of prom dresses and wedding dresses under $200. It's insane how good of quality and not only that but when you do look at a dress there is amazing amazing amounts of 
dress color options. Not only that, but you can be sent swatches um, if you want to see what that color will actually look like in real life and sometimes you can even see what it'll look like on the dress um, depending on what dress you're looking at but I decided to go for a color that's not even on there and I went for a color called watermelon and I absolutely love the dress I've been waiting for a special occasion to wear this too although I don't really get out too often I'm still waiting so I want to show you guys what it actually looks like on me um, I can tell you that the quality is fully worth it this dress was hundred and five dollars free shipping and it took about a week to two to arrive but you can also get customizing sizes so for people like me if you're short or a different size that you can't really find on here and if you're not sure you can literally put in exactly like your measurements your height and it will customize your dress I know that it might take a little longer to get that's why I didn't end up customizing it because I was hoping that I'd get it before graduation it came literally two days after graduation because I didn't tell them soon enough um, that was completely on my end but I adore this dress I'm so excited to be able to wear it out the link is in the description I cannot wait to see if you guys get this dress let me know in the comments below if you like this dress or not I'm really curious to see people's opinions because the color is so unique and just the dress in the back oh my gosh just it's it screams vintage I love it okay enough about that so you guys know how much I love my collection of fake glasses because I don't need actual ones one day maybe I will um, I know I'm gonna regret saying that but I wear them so often that I don't even think it would, it would affect me um, so I got these ones from forever 21 for 590 I was so happy can we adjust and the rose gold I'm just I really like fake glasses and you and I'm just these were a good purchase highly would recommend glasses from forever 21 now this is a more expensive line I have a lot of problem skin um, it's not so bad where I don't have always oily or dry but I've noticed in the past few months that my skin is getting a lot more dry or a lot more oily I'm getting acne in really bad places and so they sent me this yesterday and I'm already seeing my skin clear up and it's insane now it is definitely a more expensive line but if you were to buy one of these three items um, I definitely would recommend buying this it is a serum and you put it on twice a day just like these other two items this one is the eye cream if you have baggy eyes if you need a lift or two um, highly would recommend and this is a brightener so for spots in your face that are lacking color um, I would hi highly recommend this but this item right here um, it feels so good I wake up with it still on my skin when I go to bed which is crazy um, and it fixes fine line wrinkles firmness uneven skin tone texture and brightness my skin looks so bright this morning I put it on once again because I'm supposed to put it on twice a day it, it lasts all day even when you put on your makeup I mean you can still feel it underneath your skin and it's almost like protecting it from the makeup as well so this is a hundred dollars <laughs> it's not cheap I, I it's not cheap and these are like 58 or something each um, they're not cheap but if you are desperate and would like a good line to tell you that the day after I wear this and to see the results already I would highly highly recommend I'm gonna let you guys know in a week or two weeks um, how this is keeping up with my skin if I've seen any more results sorry that this is such a new product but right now I love it I absolutely love it and to see the reviews it's kind of crazy to see that people are having the same like results that I'm having the next item that I have is something that I was always very curious about um scent bird is very interesting why I say interesting is because it's this little tiny bottle okay fits in your purse fits in your workout bag which is what it's in <laughs> um, and it's supposed to last for 30 days spray it as much as you want whatever um, and it goes like this and it's really fun it's really fun <laughs> like it's really fun you can choose hundreds and hundreds of thousands of different brands and scents um, to your liking or you can choose and it it's very interesting because you can't entirely smell it but when you get it and you're like whoa like I really <laughs> really like the smell it is from Glossier the scent 
It's very, very natural, very soft. Um, if I were to explain it, it's just very natural. Um, it's almost like it smells like skin, but with like a, I just got out of the shower tint almost. I can't explain it to you, but it is such a good scent and it's any designer fragrance. So it's not just like, you know, a weird like Walmart brand. No, you can choose any type of, you know, fragrance that you want and it's like $14.95. So if you wanted to try it for a month, try it. I would highly recommend it, especially if you wanted to find like new scents. Um, and then you can also purchase like the full scent if you ended up liking it. Um, I would highly recommend it. It just, oh it smells so nice. And it lasts all day long, even after the sweaty gym. This is my favorite lip, lip product I've ever received. Pixie. I talk about them quite often. They're just a really good brand that a lot of people don't know about and I've thankfully discovered them. They sell Pixie at like Target, but you can also buy them like online and stuff. Um, here are five of the five. As you can see, I've collected them all because I love them all so much. But these two right here on the end are my favorite. They, the, I have currently on the Pastel Pearl. I wear these almost every single day. One day I'm gonna go out of these and I'm gonna lose my mind and I'm gonna buy like 12 more. This is matte beige and pastel pearl. Um, this one's a more like dark nude. And these ones obviously are more pinky toned. These are really rose and evening rose. We're, we got so many roses here. Um, and then this one is all natural, um, which is a more orange tone. But I definitely like this one as well. If we're going for a more orangey look, more springy look, it just makes me really happy. They're $14 a piece, which isn't bad at all. And they last so long, so long. Some days I go to the gym at night after wearing makeup all day long and I still come out of the gym after drinking lots and lots of water, after sweating so badly with it still on my lips and still smoking good. Like, I can't, I'm, the rest of my face might not look the best, but my lips are still there and I don't understand. I literally do not understand. Very impressed with this, this line. I, I love all of their stuff. So I would highly recommend that. Okay, so I have a very random other category that just didn't fit with anything else. I've been drinking a lot of iced coffee for quite some time. And then my dad broke my French press and I was just really emotional and sad. And um, it was emotional. It was, it was just very emotional. And I was just making iced coffee with that every single day. So I found this guy and he's a cold brew French press. It's specifically for cold brew. And it was like $10 at Target. So if you're looking for a cold brew press, this is the one. It's by Bondum. Bondum? And it makes me really happy. Like real, almost too happy. And it was $10. And I mentioned the fact that it was $10. Okay. Another item that I wanted to bring to your attention is my 35 millimeter lens. Now obviously I can't show you it but it's on my camera right now and the focus is so unrealistic that my pictures look 100% better than they ever have. Um, also my video has looked so great. The only weird thing is I have to be really far away from the camera because it's I can't like zoom in and out and that's just weird to me but it's such a nice lens. So if you're looking for a good lens if you're a YouTuber or if you're a videographer or even a photographer, I would highly recommend picking up a 35mm lens. This one was about $90 off of Amazon. Um, I'll keep the link in the description because I find that having like a word about a certain lens is very like important. I wish that I would have known what was a good lens for a very long time. I was using the kit lens. Um, which is an 18 by 55 millimeter, and I just would not recommend using a kit lens, especially if you're getting paid to take other people's pictures. Not that there's anything wrong with it, especially if you can't afford it because you can make do, but it is such a good lens, it'll change your pictures. 
forever. Um, another item, I talk about going to the gym a lot, it's because I do, and I find that going to the gym helps me relax and become a better person and love myself a little bit more. So I was using my iPods, my Apple Pods, whatever. I was using my Apple headphones and they aren't wireless, they're a pain in the butt. Um, so I knew I needed to get some Bluetooth headphones. Thank goodness for Walmart. <laughs> so for $19.95, I found these things. Um, they are by Black Web, and they're rose gold, and they literally look like this. They're kind of ugly. Like, I wouldn't want to, like... <laughs> I look like a space person, but, like, they're not the cutest things. Like, you could definitely buy, um the Apple headphones that are wireless, whatever those are called, um, for $200 and you'd be set. But these were $19.95 and they get the job done and if I have them in I can't hear anything, like even without music playing. But these are just a really good pair of headphones, for, especially if you're doing sports and stuff. I believe you can get these off of Amazon or something, but I got mine at Walmart. So. These have lasted me since April, and it's July, and they're still going strong. So, I think definitely these have been a good investment, and I really, really appreciate these headphones. So, yeah. That has been my current favorites for the month of July and June and May. But mainly this month. I've definitely discovered a lot of these items in the past, like, two months. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, for dealing with me. You guys are the best. I really appreciate you a lot more than you know. Like, I seriously mean that. Like, reading your comments and, like, seeing, like, discussions that are going on about, like, topics and, like, seeing that me talking about life and, like, your support behind those are really, honestly, life-changing for me. And I hope that I can help make your day a little better and to let you guys know that you're not alone through a lot of these really tough subjects. Some things that I know that I'm not alone going through. I am very, very honored to have such a good support system behind this channel. Um, when I uploaded the epilepsy video, the amount of positivity and the response that I got was overwhelming. I was never expecting to have so much support and love um, just be there and to hear your guys' story, to hear that a lot of you guys even deal with things, not, not necessarily with epilepsy, but even some of you do, but a lot of you guys go through a lot of health problems, a lot of things that are scary and that have made you really depressed and to know that, you know, I am not alone and you're not alone is very life-changing and I'm very very appreciated appreciative to all of you guys so thank you and I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video um bye <laughs>